Selling Collectibles on eBay. Ten recent sales. Uh, this is a short video on some actual examples of some of the items I bought at garage sales and estate auctions. And I'm almost uh, have hit 10,000 positive feedback. And uh, I like to uh, buy things that you can't buy at Walmart. Something that's 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. And an uh, example of this operator's manual for an international tractor. I bought this at a local antique sale. I bought 10 of these manuals for $9. And this particular one sold for $39. And uh, uh, people like to have uh, manuals for their actual tractor that they have. And uh, <coughs> this is a uh, glass piece. It's a black uh, Fenton unicorn. And uh, bought this at a local auction. Uh, paid five dollars for it, and it sold for thirty-seven dollars eighty-seven cents. And uh, <coughs> uh, Fenton is a uh, American glass uh, blowing factory in Ohio. <coughs> this is a uh, denim days. Uh, these are from the 1980s. I bought about 20 of these at an auction and I paid around uh, three dollars a piece for them. This one sold for $19.95. And the next item is a, uh, <coughs> a Canon Rebel camera. This sold for $49.95. And uh, I spend winters in Florida and I bought this at a garage sale for ten dollars and uh, even though this is a 35 millimeter camera sort of out of date there's still people that uh, collect these and and still use them and this is a pretty nice camera and uh, <coughs> so you have to sort of look for items that are unusual like this one, this is a vintage uh, Lister made in England clipper. Runs on vacuum. And uh, bought this at a dairy auction uh, locally. Paid $7.50 for it. And it sold for $79.95. And uh, it's a very unusual item. It was like unused condition. And uh, <coughs> people collect just about anything. Uh, this is an M&M candy dispenser, sold for $19.95. Another garage sale item in Florida, paid $3 for this item. So if you know what to look for, you can make money uh, on different items. The next item is uh, some marbles. Uh, these were probably made in the 50s. Uh, has a 10 cent price tag on it. <coughs> Again, I bought this at a local estate auction for $2 and sold for $9.95. <coughs> I'm a John Deere fan. Next item is a uh, combine sales brochure. These are from the 80s and uh, people that have combines or have equipment uh, like to have the original sales brochures and uh, this one uh, sold for nine dollars ninety five cents and I had bought a whole box full of these so I probably paid less than a dollar for this one and I sold quite a few of those then again in Florida I bought uh, two big boxes full of Star Wars uh, toys uh, paid around two dollars for this uh, jet fighter and sold it for night for fourteen ninety five <coughs> and I probably had about twenty uh, different items of Star Wars that uh, they didn't sell for a lot but I've sold some for up to two hundred dollars uh, the last item is uh, two plastic cows a cow and a calf and again uh, we have these local auctions. Uh, this is in a town next to ours here in 
Central Illinois, and I paid two dollars for this, and it sold for forty-eight dollars and one cent. And so, <coughs> this is just some ideas on some of the items I like to buy. And uh, have to remember, if uh, you can't make money on it, uh, don't buy it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have good luck selling on eBay.